Hello and welcome to Elliot's British Life and today I am doing a very very different video for me. Um, I have done unboxings before but this is a new unboxing. I've actually called it Fantasy Box. Now let me tell you a little bit about Fantasy Box and where the idea came from. So this is Fantasy Box. I made it myself. It's a cardboard box which I have added some decoupage. I've been very crafty with this box. Um, you, I did actually show it in one of my weekly vlogs, um, but I'm going to show you what's in it in a moment. But the premise of this is, I like unboxing videos, and there are lots of channels that do lots of unboxing videos, and they're really, really brilliant. They're great. But there are not many boxes, subscription boxes out there for men. Of course there are some with some grooming products and all the rest of it, but I'm very specific in the products that I like with that kind of thing. Um, and I think the, the scope and the choice for boxes is much wider if you're female. Um, so I wanted a box that kind of really represented me, so I had the idea, well why not just make my own? So in this box there are things which I have ordered for myself. Uh, about a couple of months ago now, so I'm, you know, I haven't, I haven't opened them. As soon as they arrived, I put them in the box, and that is where they have stayed. So I haven't opened them, I haven't looked at the products. But these are things which I have selected, um, and the reason why I've called it Fantasy Box is because they are things that I have really, really wanted, but maybe not had the courage to buy, or uh, they're things that I've wanted and I've had, I've been a little bit reserved about buying, and with this box I've just gone, you know what, let's just try it. There are there are things that I can trial, there are things that I can use in upcoming videos. Um, there's even one item which is going to be a whole vlog in itself. So I'm really, really excited. And there's also a couple of treats, things that, you know, things that normally I wouldn't buy myself. I've, I've, I've gone the extra mile in this box. Um, so, so yes, it's just things. Um, and also there's items that, uh, well, one item in particular, that kind of pushes me a little bit. It's things that I kind of, um, that I, I just wouldn't normally do, um, or things maybe that are quite expensive and I just wouldn't do it on a, on a normal day-to-day -day basis. So the cost of this box is actually fairly high. I mean, it's not a cheap box. This is not a cheap box. And I will link to the items where I can link to them in the description below. So do go and check that out if you are interested in any of the items. So without further ado, we are going to get stuck into this beautiful decoupage box which I haven't quite finished it. There are still a few rough edges which I need to kind of clean up and add some more decoupage and I also want to decoupage inside the box. But anyway let's just without further ado I'm going to tilt it so you can see. Um, there we go. Oh isn't it beautiful and floral. Okay da da. Okay we have some items. Now this is how they came into me. Mostly I would probably say from Amazon um, but let's just dig in shall we. So Oh, right, I'm going to start with this one, um, because I have, oh my goodness, I have been waiting so long to try this. My goodness, this is a Yankee candle, and it's not an actual candle, it is the reeds, the reed diffusers. I love a good reed diffuser, and this is Fresh Cut Roses. As you all know from my blogs, I love roses. It's one of my favourite scents, um, I just love it, and this, I just thought I need to try it in a reed diffuser, probably for my living room. So it's a Yankee Candle, fresh cut roses, um, reed diffuser, and then it's in French as well. Uh, it just looks amazing. I mean, they are obviously very self-explanatory. Uh, you put the reeds in them, and they suck up all of the um, scent over time, and uh, it makes the room smell nice. So there we go. Let's let's just get into it. So I will obviously tell you all about this when I put it up, but wow, oh yes, no. Okay, I'm not gonna get all this out, the reeds are loose, um, but I will, I will film myself putting this together at the end of this vlog, so I can't wait to smell, and I will tell you what it smells like at the end of this vlog, so stay tuned for that. Now, there's another item. Um, so, I was very, very, oh my goodness, oh, I've missed you. Do you know what? I have really, really, really missed you. This is Tim Horton's Cafe and Bake Shop French Vanilla Cappuccino Flavour. Now, I hope I've got the right one because um, I tried this because it, I was very kindly sent it in a package and as a gift. And it was a beautiful gift because I'd never tried it before, ever. And it was so gorgeous, I was having 
a few a day and it literally it went it went really really quick and I've been dying to try this again and I hope I've got the right one I looked on Amazon it's actually quite expensive here in the UK I think this was over about 20 pounds uh, which I'm sure is no way near what it costs wherever you are from um, but yes I loved it so much I had to have it again so I can't wait to try this so I'm very 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 excited about that um, the next item well, actually no I'm gonna go to the floor because I made a bit of a boo-boo the box was not big enough for this particular item so I've got it loose so let's just pop this box down for a second and I want to show you this so this is the item that is going to be a video in itself and it is also the item that pushes me uh, to somewhere where I'm not particularly comfortable and let me show you what it is without further ado it's a gym keg a gym keg have you ever heard of a gym keg so I found this literally browsing for gym items on Amazon and I came across it and I thought this is such a good idea um, it's to help me drink more I mean I do not you know I, I do get thirsty but I just I know I don't drink enough and this is supposed to contain the amount that you are supposed to drink in a day um, and my goodness it's a lot it's very daunting for someone who doesn't necessarily drink that much it's very daunting I mean at school I used to have the tiniest can of pop to last me all day and I was not thirsty so this is going to be a huge challenge for me uh, let's see if we can get into it um, yeah, this is going to push me beyond my comfort zone and that is what this fantasy box is all about. Wow, okay. And it, it came in different colours and I think uh, you could have it in camouflage but I wanted just plain black. I mean, it looks like a quality piece of equipment. <laughs> I'm going to call it equipment because I think that's kind of like what it is. Um, so I think the outer, um, the outer shell casing uh, cover is to keep it cool. I think it's, um, yeah, I think it must be designed to keep it cool. So it says, the gym keg, cool and protect. Yes, so it's designed to keep it cool. Um, it's BPA free, which I think is to do with the plastic. So I think if you have any uh, plastic allergens, it's BPA free. Um, it's not supposed to leak and it's supposed to keep uh, the water fresh. So I suppose you can put juice or whatever you want in it, um, but I'm gonna use it for water. So let's just see if we can, Oh, there we go, pop the top. Um, okay, so you kind of grab it and do a little demo. You kind of just go, there we go, and you drink. So, oh my God, that is, it looks a lot to me. So how am I gonna do this? I am probably, because if this is what you're supposed to drink in a day, I don't want to over drink. So I'm probably gonna work out how much I do drink already. And how I will do that is I will probably pour uh, the equivalent in water of what I would have in cups of tea or coffee or squash throughout the day in here already so I will know roughly the level of like how much I consume anyway and then I will obviously top it up and um, you know that will that will consist of my water for the day and like I say it's gonna be a challenge and I will probably make a whole video on how this goes um, but the benefits of drinking more water are supposed to be incredible your skin's supposed to be better, you're supposed to be more healthy. Uh, just keeping hydrated, I mean, you know, a huge percentage of your body is water. So I think this is going to be a challenge. It's something I need to do. Um, they even recommended drinking more water when I had my gym induction. So yes, I'm looking forward to stepping beyond my comfort zone and updating you in a video. Okay, next item. I'm terribly excited. Um, I almost forgot I'd actually bought this. Can you tell what it is? Can you tell just from the wrapper? I think you know it's a cup. Um, it's a mug, actually. And those of you who've watched my vlogs will know that I love Emma Bridgewater. Emma Bridgewater is a, a UK potter. And you know her brand has become very popular here in the UK. And I do use her cups. And I, have, uh, I keep my tea and coffee and sugar in, in her pottery. She also does uh, decorative items as well. Uh, but mostly like plates and cups and crockery and cookware and that kind of thing. <gasps> oh wow! Oh my goodness! Oh! oh my god, this is fabulous! Oh my god, it's the Crown Jewels Cup! So she does lots of British designs and royal designs. This 
it's just fabulous. I'm hoping you can see all of the amazing detail. Um, oh my goodness, don't drop it. <laughs> look, Let's see if I can get close. Um, that is fabulous. And look at the little details on the handle as well. Um, that is amazing. Look at the jewels. And then even inside, inside the rim, there are, it says, um, emblems of royalty. Uh, the crown jewels. Can you see? And of course it has the, let's get it the right way up, it has the Emma Bridgewater stamp on, ooh, let's get rid of the label. <laughs> we don't want the label on that, let's get rid of that. There we go. Um, there we go, so you can see the label. I'm not even sure if this could be limited edition, I don't know. Um, but I did find this on Amazon, there you go, you can see now. Uh, the crown jewels. I just love this, and this is going to be um, a new cup to, you know, enjoy tea and coffee in the garden. I am just, I'm in love. I'm loving this. Can you imagine? Mm. You don't have to imagine. You will see very, very shortly. Uh, that is just amazing. So I am really looking forward to drinking from that. And I'm glad I bought it because it's something that I've been looking at kind of for a while and, you know, hibbered and hovered where I wanted to buy it. And for this box, I just thought, go for it. Just go for it. Now, um, second to last item. Ooh, it's a big package. Uh, what is it? Let's see if I can just break into it because I don't need to keep the box anyway, so that's fine. Oh, now, any guesses? Any guesses what this could be? You are never going to guess. Uh, now, this is something that I have not seen. Um, I didn't even know they did. So it's a, it's a popular brand. And let's open it up. Okay, wow, okay. It's a Yankee candle. Um, but it's a church candle. Now, I did not know that Yankee Candle did church candles. Where have I been? I thought it was just the glass tubs. Um, but this is a church candle, and I'm going to smell. Oh, my goodness. This is the same as a diffuser. Fresh cut roses. Oh, that's glorious. That is glorious. I absolutely love it. If, if only we had smelly vision and you could smell this, I mean, it is incredible. Um, just the, the smell of having those fresh cut roses in your home. Yes, please. And I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have it in the diffuser and I'm gonna have it in the church candle. Now, I'm gonna put it, um, now I'm probably gonna put it in my little candle holder on my fireplace, which is right in front of me. So again, um, I, will, I will show you at the end of this video, me putting out all the things in the home and setting them up. Um, so do stay tuned. But yes, this is just incredible. I love it. Ah, oh, it's just gorgeous. I mean, I just adore the scent and the colour. Again, it's just a beautiful colour. So, um, yes, thank you, Yankee Candle. Um, I am looking forward to smelling that uh, for the foreseeable future. Last item. Okay. I treated myself. Okay, so I think this might be the time to make a little announcement and this item will then make complete sense. So, um, my goodness, I have booked a holiday. Um, but not just any holiday, I have booked a cruise uh, for myself and Jason and we are going on a group cruise. We are going on the Life With Favour group cruise and it is going to be amazing. It is next year, so I've got a whole year to wait. Oh my goodness, um, how am I going to wait that long? Well, this item is going to help me because I want to kind of look at something and remind myself that I am going on a cruise, uh, something that I've always wanted to do for a very, very long time. I watch cruise vlogs, um, I, I get cruise brochures and I look at them and I wish it was me and now it is going to be me, I will be on a cruise. So I'm terribly excited and I wanted something to look at to remind myself that it's actually happening even though it's about a year away. Um, so this is from Constantin Nautics. There you go, you can see on the bottle, I'll just try and avoid the shadow of the microphone. Constantin Nautics. And, oh, I'm just, oh look, it says on the box, sail with us. How cute is that? I don't mind if I do sail with you. And they have a website, www.constantinautics.com. I'll link it below. Um, oh! Oh! Oh, wow. Now you could, you have to measure your wrist. 
it's a bangle, uh, a bracelet, and it's it's nautical themed. It's got little anchor, and it's in nautical colours, and it's like individual uh, little straps. I don't know what you call it, but it's just gorgeous. I mean, just just look. That is just incredible and they are unisex so male or female you can wear them they come in different colors and i just want to see if it fits now um the one thing i was worried about is it could be a little tricky to put on it has a little catch which you screw so you screw the little um you screw the little kind of like a bolt i suppose out and oh that's it then it, it uncouples like that so uh now they said do not um do not order over or under your size, order the exact size. So that's what I've done. Now, I'm probably gonna have a lot of difficulty putting this on um, by myself. This is the sort of item that you probably need help putting on. It's quite difficult to put, to put on by yourself. I did, I did expect that because it does say, um, it does describe what the, what the fastening is. So I think the best way is to put the screw in first and then see if I can just get it on like this. Um, I think I'm gonna need some help putting this on. Uh, my other bracelet I've got is black leather and it's got um, a magnetic clasp, so it's really easy to put on. But this is a little bit tricky. As But I did think that, I did kind of expect it to be that. But once it's on, I mean, you don't you don't have to take it off. I think, it's, I think you can wear it in the shower or whatever you want. So let's just see. But it is a little tricky to put on, I will say. Um, you know, I'm having a bit of a bit of a struggle. Let's just see if I can do it. Hang on. Okay. Um, reality check. I like I like the design. I like the colours. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. But I do not like the way it fastens. You cannot put it on yourself. Um, I have sat trying to put this on on my left wrist, on my right wrist, I cannot, I can't put it on. I mean, literally, I cannot put this on by myself. I need another person. I'm home alone right now filming. Um, so yeah, you you just cannot put this on yourself. It's, I, I love it, but I, I can't, I can't wear it. I mean, I can't see myself wearing this that much because if you have to keep asking someone to put it on, that's gonna be a bit of, bit of a faff. Um, it's okay if you've got someone who's who's willing to do that every every day, but I'm just not feeling it. I mean, I just can't put it on. I literally, I I cannot get it on. I mean, even without it on my wrist, it's still a bit tricky because um, you have to kind of align it all up and then put it through, which you can do. But try imagine doing that on your own. I mean, I just I can't do it. Um, you know, like I said, I've just done it now, and it's fine. Um, but I, I can't get that on my wrist. Uh, not myself, anyway. So, um, I think this is a bit of a fail. I have to say, I am at least honest with my reviews, and I can't see myself. This, I can't see working at all. Um, no, I can't get it on. So, um, as much as I like it, I'm afraid that is a bit of a no-no. So I would say improve your fastenings. Uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe magnetic might be the way forward. But other than this, everything else I think is going to be a big triumph. So I'm now going to start putting these things out um, in the house. Oh my goodness, I've got to show you, I've done it. I've done it myself. Uh, there is a knack to it. What you do is you make yourself relaxed and you um, you let go of the tension. So you just relax and and then it just goes through. So yes, I did manage it. I think once you've got the knack, it's fine. But just look. I mean, it just looks it just looks amazing. And uh, yes, I am I'm in love with it. I really am. So I'm 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 liking this knack. So yes, I am really really liking it. Um, it fits nice and it just looks good. Um, and like I say, I've I think I've got the knack of doing it now. So. Brilliant. Okay, so now for the Yankee Candle Reads. Um, let's see what we've got here. So there's obviously the box. Uh, oh, look. 
look at the beautiful bottle. I mean, that is that is pretty gorgeous, don't you think? I'm I'm loving the bottle. Uh, fresh cut rose. Let's remove the tag. Uh, let's get a whiff of this, shall we? Oh, there's a little a little film over the cap, which is, I think is a smart idea to stop any leakages. Uh, okay, let's get a sniff. Come on. Is it going to squeeze? Oh, do you turn it? Do you screw it? Or do you just pop it? I don't want to pop it and split everywhere. Hang on, I'm going to put it on the floor and... How do you do this? Yeah, it's definitely a stopper. But I don't, I don't want it to go everywhere if I just pull it. Okay, I think something's coming. Okay, it's coming. It was, it was a cork. It was like a cork stopper. Look, there you go. Um, and it didn't spill anywhere because I pushed it on the carpet, so it didn't spill anywhere. Let's get a sniff. Oh, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's get these reeds out now. Again, they have a little bit of plastic around them. How do I get rid of this without breaking everything? Um, hang on. Maybe if I just kind of take one of them out. There we go. I'm just, I'm just going to take them out individually. Because if you try and break the plastic, you might break the the reeds, which I don't want. So there we go. Maybe it will slide now. No. I'll just keep taking them out one by one. That's fine. Uh, oh, there's actually two. There's two bits of plastic. Uh, just keep pulling them very slowly. And they will... Oh, there we go. I've got rid of the plastic, nearly. Just one little two to separate. There we go. Okay. I've got them all loose. And then... Literally, all you do is gather them together. If you've not used these before, they are very, very simple. Um, you just drop them in, and that you arrange them into a kind of like a cross pattern, and then they then they sit wherever you want them to go. Over about twenty four hours, forty eight hours, they will suck up um, some of the scent, and um, then they start to diffuse in the room. And you can turn them over every night, occasionally. Um, but yeah, that's, I'm going to put them over here and I will, I will turn them around and show you what I've done. So there we go. I'm going to put them there by the phone, on the phone table. And I just think they look rather nice. I will have a little play around later uh, with the reeds, but I can't wait for the smell to fill the room. Lovely. Okay, so now for the candle. Now, I have had, this is my holder. I had it for Easter. And I have had a, a floral candle in here before, but it's a much cheaper one. Uh, so it's not quite as good as the, the proper, proper Yankee Candles, as I would call them. So I'm going to put this in here, because I just think that looks nice. Um, let's make sure it's level first. Before, okay, why is that not working? That's fine. I'm going to put that there like that. Or maybe not. That doesn't work, does it? <laughs> oh, it's the bottom of this. It's not... Okay, that's not going to work. Um, that's not gonna, it's not going to be even that that one works because it's it's that shape so what I'm gonna have to do is just put it on here um, that's fine that can just go there next to my other church candle and and it's fine so I'm okay with that let's light it so I have one of these lighters which are really really good there we go there we go um, ooh, okay. And I can't wait for the aroma to fill the room. Uh, we are going to smell like fresh cut roses in here. Um, so yes, I'm loving these products. Now the water bottle, of course, I will test um, in the week. I'm, I'm, I will start this water tomorrow, so that's going to happen with that. If we didn't get a really close look up of the cup, I just thought I'd show you again. Um, it's just amazing. I love it. I really do. I mean, even down, even down to all the details on the handle. Um, it's just gorgeous, and inside as well. Uh, I just love it. It's a really beautiful cup, which I'm going to be using later tonight once I've given it a quick wash. Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far through the whole video, thank you so, so much. Please tell me in the comment section below uh, what you thought about this video, what you thought about the products in them. Um, and also, if there is anything in particular that you would like me to review or trial, please let me know um, and I will see if it's something that can come up or feature 
in a future Fantasy Vox video. So if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. And also please do remember to subscribe to the channel. So from me in Shropshire, to you all and goodbye. <laughs>